This is Korea News for April 21, 2022. President-elect Yoon suk yeols promise of opening the Blue House will come true on May 10 as promised. However, the time was delayed to 10 am on the same day, not 0 o'clock opening mentioned by President-elect Yoon. Pre-preparation on the first day is cited as the cause. As the controversy over Moon Jae-in's eviction has arisen, attention is focused on whether there will be any changes in the schedule in line with the change in the timing of the opening of the Blue House. The task force before the National Police Agency's relocation to the Presidential Office and the Presidential Transition Committee decided to open the Blue House at 10 a.m. on May 10 after discussion. As the Blue House was operating normally until the previous day, many pointed out that it was physically impossible to open immediately at midnight. For this reason, it has been predicted that the opening will be highly likely immediately after the inauguration of President-elect Yoon. The maximum number of visitors to the Blue House is 6,500 per team, and it is planned to allow up to 39,000 people to visit the Blue House a day by allowing them to watch at intervals of two hours. The first opening period is from May 10 to 20, and reservations can only be made online. It is known that Kim Gun-hee, the spouse of the elected Yoon suk yeol said, if there is something I must wear luxury goods, I will buy it with my own money. According to the report, Ms. Kim Jian hee said, she has been living in the position of Zhang, not Gap to Yule or Sik, while doing business. She knows better than anyone how difficult it is to make money. There will never be a waste of national taxes, she said. The People's Power will discuss whether to take disciplinary action against Lee Jun Sok, the representative of People's Power, over allegations of sexual favors. The People's Power Central Ethics Committee will hold a meeting on the 21st to deliberate on CEO Lee's allegation of destruction of evidence of sexual favors. Previously, the YouTube channel Garosiro Research Center and the civic group Freedom Korea Protection Corps filed a complaint against CEO Lee to the People's Power Ethics Committee, saying that he had attempted to destroy evidence in relation to the allegation of sexual favors. Ka Se Yeon claimed on her YouTube channel last December that CEO Lee received sexual favors. Even at that time, the allegation of sexual favors was raised, but the Ethics Committee settled the case in a way that did not initiate disciplinary procedures considering the presidential election. Even if the Ethics Committee examines Lee's allegation of destruction of evidence of sexual favors and decides on disciplinary action, the disciplinary action will only be finalized with the highest decision. The disintegration of the Confederation of Trade Unions has already begun. GM Korea will shift the working system of its Bupyong 2 plant to one shift and deploy 1,200 workers to its Chang 1 plant. GM Korea announced on the 20th that it had reached an agreement on the 19th to secure employment and a large-scale transfer of manpower between business sites. In order to respond flexibly to market demand, GM Korea plans to change the shift at the Bupyong 2 plant from the 1st of next month to the 1st shift, always a weekly system, from the 1st of next month. In addition, about 1,200 workers from the Bupyong 2 plant will be transferred to the Bupyong 1 plant and the Chang 1 plant within this year, where production is expected to increase. Housing and moving expenses are also covered. Currently, the Bupyong 2 plant is producing Malibu and tracks, which are about to be discontinued. Production was originally scheduled to end after August, but due to the opposition of the union, GM Korea is known to have proposed a plan to change the working system to one shift and extend production until November. Bupyong Plant 2 will end production after November. Earlier, the Labor and Management of GM Korea held a special committee for labor and management employment stability since the 31st of last month and have been discussing the optimization of production plant operation. GM Korea is planning to achieve business normalization by establishing an annual production system of 500,000 units based on the trailblazer being produced at the Bupyong 1 plant and the next generation crossover utility vehicle CUV to be produced at the Chang 1 plant from next year. Why is the left-leaning national solidarity for persons with disabilities at the end of the Moon Jae-in administration holding citizens as Volvos and stalking them? The national solidarity for the disabled should not take the subway as a pawn, and instead of the takeover committee, go to the incompetent Blue House Moon Jae-in, the Democratic Party, and the Democratic Party-controlled National Assembly to protest. It should be borne in mind that such actions of the national solidarity for the disabled cannot be given justification, and the national solidarity for the disabled may be seen as a group that is violent by the people. The National Solidarity for the Elimination of Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities announced that they would resume protests on the subway on the way to work from the 21st tomorrow, saying that the policy for the disabled laid out by the Presidential Takeover Committee is insufficient. The National Solidarity for Persons with Disabilities issued a statement on the 20th, the day of the disabled, saying, the policy for the disabled, briefed at the Transition Committee, far from abolishing discrimination against people with disabilities, is just too far-fetched and abstract review to guarantee the basic citizenship of the disabled who have been shouting for 21 years. He said. He added. From 7 a.m. on the 21st, we plan to run take the subway to work simultaneously at three subway stations, Jiayongbakung Station, Line 3, City Hall Station, Line 2, and Gwangaewaman Station, Line 5. Dot. The National Solidarity for Persons with Disabilities explained the background for the resumption of the protests, saying, the Presidential Transition Committee did not give a specific answer regarding the budget for the rights of persons with disabilities that should be reflected in 2023 as presented by the Jeonjan Jiayin. The National Solidarity for the Disabled pointed out that the budget for the rights of persons with disabilities is more urgent than the personal budget system for the disabled in the field of health and welfare, and the budget for deinstitutionalization is not mentioned. The left-leaning National Solidarity for the Disabled said, even if we die, we will not forget the rights of the disabled. The Civilized Society of the Non-Disabled, 
where even basic citizenship of the disabled is not guaranteed even after shouting and waiting for 21 years, is just an uncivilized society for the disabled. Emphasized. So, I don't really understand why you go to Moon Jae-in, who can't solve it, and yell at him. Earlier, the National Solidarity for Persons with Disabilities urged the Transition Committee to respond to the budget for the rights of persons with disabilities, and since March 30, the struggle to ride the subway to work in a wheelchair has stopped. I do not know why they are asking to protest the occupation of Moon Jae-in of the Blue House, which has not been able to solve the problem for the past five years, and the Democratic Party, which has taken control of the National Assembly. There seems to be some other trick. Is this the beginning of another mad cow disease outbreak in the U.S.? As the left-leaning National Solidarity for the Disabled resumed subway protests on the way to work on the 21st, citizens on their way to work are experiencing great inconvenience. The National Solidarity for Persons with Disabilities stopped the subway demonstration on the way to work after a meeting with the Transition Committee on the 29th of last month, but it will resume the demonstration after 23 days. According to the National Solidarity for the Disabled on the 21st, the National Solidarity for the Disabled has resumed take the subway to work starting today. The National Solidarity for the Disabled is currently running the 27th commute to work at Jiyongbakung Station, Line 3, City Hall Station, Line 2, and Gwangaewaman Station, Line 5, from 7 a.m. today. In this regard, Seoul Transportation Corporation said, if take the subway to work on Seoul subway lines 2, 3, and 5 proceeds, inconvenience to hundreds of thousands of commuters is expected. May be delayed, he said. These concerns have become a reality. Seoul subway lines 2, 3, and 5 have all stopped running in both directions. From 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. on weekdays last month, the average daily number of passengers on Seoul subway lines 2, 3, and 5 was about 447,000, accounting for more than half of the daily average daily users of lines 1 and 8. Seoul Transportation Corporation asked Jeon Jan Jae-in to refrain from propaganda on the way to work. The head of the sales division of Seoul Transportation Corporation said, I feel that citizens' interest in guaranteeing the right to move for the transportation vulnerable has increased through the propaganda campaign of the National Solidarity for the Disabled. We will do our best to minimize safety accidents and inconvenience to citizens that may occur during propaganda on the way to work. The Valley murder case is rising as a concern for the entire nation. Lee Ian Ha, currently 31, appeared on MBC's reality entertainment program Love House with her disabled parents 20 years ago. I want to, he said. It is said that MC Shin dong of MBC's current affairs liberal arts program True Story Exploration Team, aired on the 21st, burst into anger after watching the episode that shed light on the full story of the Valley murder and Lee Ian has shocking past life. Shin dong who met Lee Ian Ha through MBC's reality entertainment program Love House, remembered him clearly, saying, the girl who took care of her disabled parents well but never lost her smile. Love House was a program that remodeled the houses of people living in poor conditions and suffering from hardship, and it aired until 2005. Shin dong remembered Lee Ian Ha and her family in a special way to the extent that it was selected as one of the most touching and warm stories among the many storytellers of Love House. He said at the time that Ian Halley could not have my room because she was storing her parents' wheelchair. I share a room with my parents, and I'm sorry that I have a bad sleeping habit. In addition, Ian Halley, with the help of Dongyup Shin and experts, promised to become a helper for neighbors in need. However, Shin Dongyup, who saw Lee Ian has completely different appearance from the past through the broadcast of True Story Expedition, was said to be at a loss for words while watching the incident-related contents. Chinese display makers are rapidly increasing the production of small and medium-sized organic light-emitting diode OLEDs for smartphones. As China's small and medium-sized OLED shipments that have swallowed up the liquid crystal display device LCD market begins, there are voices of concern that the market share of small and medium-sized OLEDs by domestic display companies may fall below 70% for the first time this year. According to the electronics industry on the 21st, Bo, the largest display company in China, has started operating the sixth-generation OLED production line additionally in Chengdu and Mianyang, China, from the first quarter of this year. Bo plans to start operation of the third small and medium-sized OLED production line under separate construction in Chongqing from the second half of this year. Accordingly, Bo's OLED production is expected to exceed 100 million units this year. This is a 70% increase from last year's level of 60 million units. Beijing Sangbo, a Chinese economic media, said, Bo is rapidly increasing its overall small and medium-sized OLED production to increase the supply of OLED for Apple's iPhone. Bo is also considering building a new OLED factory in Chengdu by the end of 2024. Bo is rapidly increasing its market share of small and medium-sized OLEDs with aggressive investments. According to market research firm Omdia, Bo's market share of small and medium-sized OLEDs increased from 5.6% in 2019 to 8.7% in 2020 and 10.5% last year. Omdia estimates that Bo recorded 14.8% and 15.5% market share in the first and second quarters of this year, respectively. Along with Bo, China CSOT, Visionox, and Chinma are also speeding up their OLED plant expansion. In the case of Visionox, the market share increased by more than 5 percentage points within a year as the sixth-generation OLED production line built in Hefei, China, started operation in the second quarter of last year. Accordingly, China's small and medium-sized OLED market share is expected to approach 30% this year. This means that China's small and medium-sized OLED market share can rise by more than 10 percentage points in one year. On the other hand, the domestic market share is steadily declining. 
It occupied 82.2% of the market until last year, but if the current trend continues, the 70% level could collapse this year. Chinese companies are also expected to launch a low-cost strategy of supplying the price to 70% of that of domestic companies, as well as a push-out method of lowering prices by increasing production of small and medium-sized OLEDs. Japan's Nihon Kizai Shimbun said, Chinese-made OLEDs are quickly being installed in mid-to-low-end smartphones with excellent quality at low prices. The Civil Aviation Administration of China announced the results of an initial investigation into the crash of an Eastern Airlines plane that crashed on the 21st of last month with 132 passengers and crew on board. In a preliminary report released on the 20th, the Civil Aviation Administration detailed the crash process and the movement of the aircraft at the time, but did not give a clear answer on the specific cause of the accident. According to the Civil Aviation Administration, the Eastern Airlines aircraft, which was a Boeing type, crashed on the way to Guangzhou from Kunming at 1.16 p.m. on the 21st of last month, the day of the accident. Just before the accident, the cruising altitude was maintained at 8,900 meters, and it entered the Guangzhou control area at 2.17 p.m. Afterwards, the Guangzhou control tower tried to communicate when the altitude departure warning of the accident plane sounded at 2.20 p.m., but there was no response. According to information recorded on the radar, the plane passed an altitude of 3,380 meters at 1,010 km per hour at 2.21 and 40 seconds p.m. The crash site was in a valley near Rangnan Zhen Morang village, Ten County, Wazhu City, Guangzhou Autonomous Region. As a result of the investigation, it was confirmed that the pilot, crew, and repair personnel of the accident plane all met the qualifications, and there were no abnormalities in the aircraft's navigation system or radar equipment before operation. Also, the weather conditions at the time of the accident were not dangerous, and there were no abnormalities in the communication between the accident and the control tower before leaving the cruising altitude. The preliminary report released this time is mostly known at the time of the accident, and the exact cause of the accident is expected to be revealed only after the black box analysis is completed. The Civil Aviation Administration said that the flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder, the black box recovered from the accident, were seriously damaged, so data recovery and analysis are in progress. Objectively, considering that the plane crashed almost at a right angle, the possibility of terrorism by ethnic minorities such as the Xinjiang Uyghurs cannot be excluded because the departure point is Kunming, which is adjacent to the Arab Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Prefecture. Previously, there had been a large-scale terrorist attack by Arab Xinjiang Uyghurs at Kunming Station. According to the International Civil Aviation Convention, the country in which the accident occurred must submit a preliminary report to the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, within 30 days of the date of the accident. I am ready to offer myself as a sacrifice. I hope it will serve as an opportunity for the Democratic Party to reflect on what I love and want to go back to. Independent lawmaker Yang Hyang Jae from the Democratic Party of Korea opened his mouth on the 20th in relation to the leak of a statement opposing the complete deprivation of the prosecution's investigative authority on the 20th. On the same day, Rep. Yang Hyang Jae on Facebook said, Yesterday's document under my name was written by relying solely on my conscience, contemplating how to make the ruling and opposition parties, who are extremely opposed to each other, work together. It appears to have been leaked in the process of seeking advice on whether or not there is any. Regarding Rep. Min Hyung Bae's so-called deployment of the party, Rep. Yang Hyang Jae said, but even now, my convictions have not changed. Moreover, I cannot help but be astonished at the idea that a member of the Liberal Party would leave the party and become a member of the Agenda Coordination Committee just because it is a majority party, he wrote. On that day, Rep. Min Hyung Bae left the Democratic Party in protest against Rep. Yang Hyang Jae's opposition to the inspection. The Agenda Mediation Committee, a means of delaying the proceedings, can discuss controversial bills between the ruling and opposition parties for up to 90 days, but if Rep. Min Hyung Bae becomes an independent, it becomes a female for people to structure and can pass the agenda early there is. This is why Rep. Min Hyung Bae was criticized for using a trick. Rep. Yang Hyang Jae said, prosecution reform is the calling of the times, but let's think more about it. Let's reflect on whether the National Assembly is also playing its role, he said. Earlier, Rep. Yang Hyang Jae said in a statement the previous day, I am a recruit for Moon Jae-in, and I want him to succeed more than anyone. He added, I am well aware that this judgment can destroy the political foundation in an instant, but I will obey my conscience. Thank you for watching today. Please like and subscribe.